hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is ronald today i'm going to be embarking on actually making a swing so i hope you guys can go along with me while i make it i saw this big tree right here like i told you previously guys when we did the fence uh, i basically missed the tree we had where i was going to be creating a tree house for liam for our babies but unfortunately i can't be doing that but right now at uh, my uh, uh, wife's auntie uh, they do have this tree and i thought i would make this guy a swing so right now i'm going to be making that do i have any instruction to follow no but i'm just going to figure it out basically as i go all right so let's go Okay, so all I have today is uh, basically I went and I purchased some chains here. So each of these is 10 feet. Uh, I just basically did some measurements and I thought there may be enough for me. I did buy some of these because I have to make sure I put it together to either end so it doesn't fall out. And also I got some screws, it's 8 by uh, 2 and a half here. And uh, basically as you can see I also have uh, a few pieces of wood that basically was left over from another project so I'm going to basically use all that to see what we can come up with can see I've just made this this is gonna be the back where I made it slanted just to make sure you can actually uh, have your back on it but also I've screwed this into the working table so I can it's more stable to work with uh, in terms of the sitting area because the length I have made it to be two feet basically so two feet right here in terms of the um, the length and the width where you'll be sitting down I'm going to make it all the way to 16. I'm also I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to screw this into my table until when I put this together. I'm going to screw it right in on the 16 mark. Don't forget these are temporary screws. So that would mean this is where we're going to sit while we're swinging.
So as you can see, I've put it around the branch like that. I put like two screws underneath like that to hold it in place. So the chain does not keep uh, digging into the branch. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay, now I'm just going to connect the chain and then our seat. Yeah. Uh, we're basically done here since it's already up now and the chains and everything but just put this on make sure it's actually leveled if it's not just make sure it's leveled either that side or the other side let's get that set tell me what you think about this and i'm going to leave the measurements down for you by the way on how i made this one you know width length and the height for the um rest and all that uh, so as for the materials by the way uh, everything I used I did spend 120 to buy the chain because it's very expensive right depending on the height of where you are and also I didn't buy the wood because we already had this uh, but I did buy uh, you know the joiners right here as you can see that picture but I also did buy that little plastic as well because I need something to put around uh, the tree so that doesn't keep digging into the branch so that is basically done as well okay so again you don't really have to do it exactly the way I made it but as you can see I made sure there was a slant here because I wanted to make sure the backrest uh, you can actually lay back and not like you're falling off you can definitely be comfortable and also I made sure to I drill some holes as you can see through here because I wanted to make sure that the chain goes through and basically more like a stopper for the chain back and forth if you can you can basically put a chain here and here it will definitely help for more stability but this is also fine and uh, as you can say angle this a little bit here you don't have to uh, also I did angle this I didn't want to have too much of the wood going up so I did cut it down here uh, down here is basically two feet here and also the same thing inside is also two feet basically equal uh, right here it was 16 up to here but then you add a little bit of that it goes just slightly above but for the, as you can see here I use also um, a deck piece of wood right here we had a leftover inside there so most of the wood I use as you can see those are the measurements right there uh, I didn't use something too big you can also see the side of it basically same thing all across except for this piece of wood right here it was a deck a piece of wood uh, which I didn't really uh, it was actually already sliced a little bit but I end up using it in between that and also leave some spacer in here because at the end of the day you want to make sure when it rains water goes right through nothing sits on it that way it will last longer You love it? You love it? One. Can I come on with you? Ready? I wanna come and sit too, okay? Oh yeah, we can all fit at once, Leo. Yeah? This is amazing. Oh guys, we're enjoying it, so you do your own. I'll leave for you some instructions down. As you can see, all those pictures show you basically how you should do it. So I suggest you jump onto it. So your child or yourself in this case, I know my wife loves this and actually my in-law loves it. I made sure it can hold, you know, a lot of weight. So in this case, almost 200 and something pounds, honestly. 
so everyone should be able to enjoy it and uh, it's very comfortable since it has a backrest too so you know what i think we're done here buddy right liam can you tell them to like share subscribe bye guys